Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another dropship. This one is called the Masu Tank Dropship, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a heavy armoured, well defended dropship that can carry a couple of people into a combat zone safely and hopefully be able to return. And we will be testing that out because in the distance right over there, I spawned in a small little station for us to go and do our flyby on. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is, as well as all the other designs created by Ronnie Dude. So there's his vehicles, and there is his helicopter. And of course, his massive monorail is a world he can't see in this menu. But for the dropship itself, it is 2,588 small blocks, using none of the DLC packs and no mods. It does come with a couple programmable blocks on here for you to use in case you want to, but as it stands, there is nothing on it. So we'll give this thing a thumbs up, we'll move all the way around to the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside, and then we'll test it out against, well, the pirate sitting in the distance. So, at the very front here, this is what we get. Front and centre, we've got ourselves a single camera to help aim our Gatling guns and rocket launchers straight forwards. Just below our camera, we've got ourselves our lone rocket launcher. To the left and right of that, we've got ourselves two Gatling guns, and they have an access point on the side for easy access to reload them with ammunition. They are right there in the lovely red colour, so you cannot miss them. Coming around back to the front, we've got some atmospheric thrusters to help slow us down. Atmospheric thrusters are the only form of thrusters that appear on this ship, so we are only good for planets. We can also see some great use of our armoured plates on the side there, just to give those Gatling guns a little bit more protection from any kind of stray shots on the side. If we were to start to look at it on the side, that is what we get. So the steel blocks all the way around the ship has been patterned in a way that we've got these light blue, we've got these light grey and then dark grey blocks, and it does look fantastic overall. If we were to turn around over to this section right here, this is our first of two thruster pods on here, where inside and behind these blast or edge blocks, we've got one hell of a lot of atmospheric thrusters to make sure this thing can fly around and carry some heavy weight. So we come all the way around like this, we can see our armoured plates once again, behind our blast or edge blocks, here are all of our atmospheric thrusters, and if we were to continue along in the middle there, I'll put my light on, there's some more atmospheric thrusters to keep us off the ground. We can even come into this little section right here, we've got another atmospheric thruster that's going towards the main body of the vehicle. And coming all the way around over to here, we'll then have our atmospheric thrusters to help push us forwards. There we go, and now we just come out the rear of it, and that is what it looks like. As for the side of this, this is what we get, so we can see a bunch more of our steel block patterns, but right over here behind this little lump, we've got ourselves a little decoy. Yes, so hopefully all the turrets will go for this first of all, and will avoid damaging the main body of the ship, where your passengers might be sitting. If you were to come past our thruster pod and look at the side on the main body of the vehicle, that is all we get. And if you were to come around over to this section right here, we can see even more atmospheric thrusters behind some blast or edge blocks. And we'll just come through once again. So here we go, we've got more like this, more to keep us off the ground. Putting my light on once again, even more for the left and right. And towards the back there, another battery just hidden away inside here. And here are the ones who push us forwards with some more blast or edge blocks on the back. Coming to the side of this one, this is all we get. There we go. Now if we were to move all around to the very back of this thing, we can see the thruster pod on the opposite side. We have some more blast or blocks, and this is going to be for our ramp, where we can press that button that will fold all the way down to the ground, and allow your troops to get in and out. And this is what they'll be greeted with on the inside. So a, a lovely glow, a bunch of seats to sit on, and a very nice setup under the seats. But we'll come back to that a bit later. If we were to move all the way up and above and look down, this is all we're getting. We've got a couple parachute hatches, just in case you get into an emergency, and well, need to avoid a hard landing. Towards the front, there is a Gatling turret. And right over to here, we've got some more fancy block works where underneath this section, right here, we got some gyroscopes. There we go. And of course, we've got a blinking red light. There is our fighter cockpit at the front. We just come around and underneath this thing all the way down. And that's what we get. So just down under the grass, we can see another turret underneath, some more atmospheric thrusters. And then towards the back there, we can see our connector to load up any kind of ammunition, load up any kind of goods we need, or simply even to recharge our batteries or load uranium inside it. And then towards the back there, we can see our rotor, which is for the door at the back. And there we go. That is a very brief look around the outside of the Masu Tank dropship, and hopefully I'm saying that correctly. 
So what we can do now is just grab hold of my character and we can come all the way around towards the back of this thing and we can press the button. Yes, we can come around like so, we can press that button and it'll very slowly come all the way down to the ground. We now hop up and go inside. If we were to turn around, we've got another button to close this thing up and it'll very slowly just seal us inside. There we go. Then turning around, as we saw just a second ago, these are our seats on the side with some fantastic use of our rounded blocks at the bottom there. And we can see our conveyors going along towards the front, just behind our seats. Moving towards the front on the inside here, we've got then a bunch of reactors with easy access points. And over to this section, we've got some cargo containers for you to store a few bits and bobs in if you wanted to. And then down to here, we can then access these for some more small reactors in case we need that additional power. Over on this side and getting into this chair, we've got no options to play with, but we do have some instructions on these screens. So right below them, we've got our programmable blocks, which have nothing on them, but we can do stuff with these if we want to. P.S. As for the instructions on top, we simply have to come into here. We'll then find our turrets. There we go. And then we can take control of these and shoot anything we want to, if we want to precisely aim them without the AI taking over. Coming out of that and hopping out of the seat, we now leave this area. So there we go, we now own that all the way up. And we can come around towards the front. Just around to there, we can see our magnetic plates, which is what we're locking down on onto the ground. And now we have to come around over to here, activate our jetpack, and into the cockpit we go. So in first person view, this is what we get all the way around. We are not impeded whatsoever by the side of the ship. And as for the controls, number one is going to be to close up the ramp or open it up, depending on what you want to do. So there we go. Number two is going to be for our lone rocket launcher at the front there to blast whatever we want. And number three is for our Gatling guns to fire them both together. Number four is for our camera at the front so we can precisely aim our weapons. And then number five is for our parachute hatches to manually open and close them. And number six is to put our batteries into auto or recharge. As for tab number two, three and four, we've got nothing else. We can now undo the parking brakes and take this thing off. So what we're going to do is just fly forward and we'll avoid the right hand side. So that's where the pirates are sitting. So moving forwards, this is what we get. For a heavily armed dropship, we are pretty speedy. Coming to a stop, we are equally as fast, although it feels a lot faster than moving forwards. Let's just do that again. So go all the way up to 15 meters per second. And then coming to a stop. Yes, we are definitely a lot faster coming to a stop. Moving left. And then moving right. Once again, we got some nice speed with this. And then moving down. And moving up. There we go, moving down we are a lot faster than everything else, and moving up we are a bit slower than everything else, so do be aware of that if you are going to try and land very quickly. As for master controls, this is what we get, we are extremely heavy, but it does suit this type of ship. So there we go, Oop, and the door at the back there is wobbling around, so we just go and find that and lock it in place. There we go. So now what we can do is come all the way over to this section right here, you might be able to make it out, let's zoom all the way in. There is the pirate base where it's got a couple of guns on here, and we're going to do a flyby. So we just come out there, we turn off the signals like that, and we'll start to fly all the way over. So hopefully our turrets will be able to deal with their turrets, and hopefully the armored plates will be able to, or even armored blocks, will be able to absorb most of the damage, and hopefully our pretend passengers will be A-OK. -okay. So here we go, we're now being shot at, I'm going to turn away so they don't damage the cockpit, it looks like they just shredded some of our batteries. We are now maxing out the power. Now we're going to turn our back to them, tilt a little bit backwards. And well, considering how many guns are on that thing, we are doing very well. And they're still having a go. They really want to get rid of those thrusters. I think the decoys on the side are gone. Yes, they are. So now we're just going to fly out of range once again, and we'll see the damage dealt. All right, and here we go. <laughs> they're still pummeling me. Come on, I'm out of range now. There we go, that should do. Well, we lost a lot of the thrusters, but it does seem like we are still able to fly this thing around, which is very good. Our passengers might be in a little bit of a problem. As you can see there, we can see all the way through, and we've got a loose conveyor pipe right there. Yes, it did quite a good job against such a well-armed ship. So we can do a proper flyby, and hopefully if you're moving really fast, you won't take as much damage as I was just sitting there. So one final thing to do with this thing, of course, is to slam it straight into this and see how much damage we can deal to it. So as per usual, there will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. I highly recommend you do. And here we go straight into it. 
and not much happened. So unfortunately, they took out most of our thrusters, so we just, just hit the ground and left a nice little hole. And that turret right there, that turret is having a whale of a time. Look at him and go, time of his life. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.